Alrighty, hello, welcome beautiful people around the web. This is HD with a freaking buzzing sound in my background. I am so happy to have that here. Thank you, microphone. This video will be about the awesome and amazing spy money. Uh, money spy. <laughs> How do I mess this up? The money spy. What you do is basically replace the scout and help out the demo man getting the bots killed. Most likely the medic bots. And the spy bots maybe not, but the engineer bots as well. Big bots also, but your main function is and will always be the money. For that you upgrade movement speed and jump height. First of all, movement speed because you have to go fast around and collect the money. If you jump, it, it helps, but it doesn't make you faster. Especially on this specific, uh, specific map. So go for that. Nothing else needs to be upgraded in the first wave. Now to the overall gameplay and maybe the weapons you should choose. So what I do basically is getting the zapper, the red tape recorder. I actually have never used that so I would presumably say don't use it as well. For the knife, I use the normal knife in this mission and this map. I will change it later on because there are pyros but I'll come to that. For the, for the pistol which you never upgrade, please never upgrade a pistol. I use the Le Tronzar, or Le, Le, Le Tronzar. I, I have no idea, I, I never spoke French and I will never probably do that. So I apologize if I mispronounce here that thing. So, for the pistol I use the Le Tronzar because it has the plus 40% cloak duration basically. And I take the Dead Ringer because it is just superior to every, anything else that you can choose from. Basically what you do is collect the money, just look at the money where it drops knowing where the bots are running to and where it get it get killed and try to just systematically farm those routes over and over and always have a look at the bottom left corner where the money is displayed and see where money or that money is missing. If money is not missing you can proceed going on to, I don't know, killing stuff and whatever, zapping the sentry buster, whatever your, your desire, what your heart desires. But as long as there's money, you have to get it. You can backstep like big, big robots, but only like twice or thrice if you are fast. But if you backstep them too often, they like look around and they instantly shoot. That's why I do it like that. Step twice, then get the dead, dead ringer out, like run around, get uh, fake killed, disguise again as you are being cloaked with your dead ringer, and then just decloak. You can decloak in front of the robots, they will not notice that. But don't decloak too soon because it might be that they are still locking onto your old position and still shooting there. Heavies are very difficult to handle because they do it a lot. So be cautious if you do if you do attack and do reveal that you are in fact a spy. Second thing that just uh, comes into my mind, if you are on fire, every robot, even though you are disguised, will notice that and they will automatically shoot you. That's why if there are uh, pyro bots or like big pyro bots that you can't avoid atta like attacking or running around, take this bicycle. That's what I'm coming to next time. So, if you attack once, you basically let, your let yourself get killed so your threat meter will, will be reset and then you can proceed to go to attack again. If you use a dead ringer, which I highly recommend. If you don't use it, it basically you can just lay down the spy uh, business and just proceed playing scout if you want to. And even then, people miss money. And I, uh, in this map, in the whole map, I never missed anything. And it was like, I don't know, 40 minutes of gameplay here, which I cut together. But anyways, I, dis I digress. If you now feign death with your dead ringer and disguise again, um, do not attack as soon as possible, but try to get to an ammo kit and refill your cloak so you can't attack again because if you attack again and the robots see you you are helpless and you die if you die you must buy in to save the money that's just to just to be sure to save it it's not about how much money you have left i mean there are many people just buying in even though they don't need to but you definitely have to because you are the money spy and you are actually impossible to kill but only if you mess up then you die and it's it's going pretty fast since you don't have that much health you don't get an overheal of the money you collect and medics mo most likely won't heal you because they are just I don't know lazy asses or whatever or my people are always like not really healing me but very random, random people of course if I have like my my uh, fixed group of people then it's all right but be aware that you will not get any support from anyone and you are on your own that's what this vibe actually does all right let's make this fast and quick 
to the upgrades, which are the most important things. First of all, you upgrade movement speed and jump height. If you uh, are on the second wave, then you upgrade at least one time zapper range so you can at least take out those medic bots. If there are medic bots crowded behind a big bot or a giant bot, then you zap them once and then you can proceed stabbing one or two or maybe three if you're fast enough and then go away, disguise again, let yourself get killed maybe with a dead ringer and then attack again and do the same thing over and over and until every single bot is gone. The last robot you attack is the giant robot. Other people are doing way more damage in the first round rounds anyway, so you you are just there for the support. You, you're not the overkill. You're just you're just a spy and changing um, to this bicycle as well for the pyrobots makes you maybe not even able to kill anyone because if you caught fire and you distinguished it with your spicicle, you don't have a knife at all, which kind of is a way to humble yourself basically. So go for the one time at least zapper range and then go for the resistances. You have to survive. That's the only like, that's your only purpose, surviving and getting the money. If you now have uh, some resistances and whatever and you don't know actually what to do now, look at the board above you where the wave is shown which robots come and then you can upgrade resistances accordingly. Most likely, just look at what is the majority of robots coming at you. Is it uh, robots that use explosive stuff like demo men and soldiers or is it heavies and scouts? Then you go for the bullet resistance of course. Is there, if there is something that has crits, go for the crit resistance first. To not die one hit is your one, number one priority and if you upgrade the crit resistance last, then you still get the full crit damage, but minus the base damage. You basically get not... Um, the base damage is, let's say, 50, and the crit damage plus the base damage is 250. If you now have, crit res uh, have the normal resistance, which is only 75%, you get still, like this 15 damage or whatever it is, and still the 200 other damage. So, you die one hit. Go for the crit resistance first if there are crit stuff to actually kill. Uh, to, uh, if, there, if there are crit people, I don't know. One last tip that I actually have, the rest is basically repeating uh, the stats that I've given to you and just practicing. One, one thing that I see right now on my screen on the unedited video, maybe I edit it that way that it is still there to see, is the heavies with a... Uh, with a I, with the steel gloves, with the gauntlets, with the steel gauntlets, they, these heavies are bigger than the normal heavies and they have the steel gauntlets which makes them like almost invulnerable to normal damage besides melee damage. Okay, they have like a 50% damage reduce, reducement on any damage sources but melee damage. Melee damage even does more damage. So if you backstab them, they are every time a one hit kill and that greatly supports your team. Getting rid of those spots is very good for your team and just makes everything faster and more smooth. You can also zap them or other you can zap other heavies or other robots around them and then then go for the uh, for the steel gauntlet heavies because they can shoot you and you can escape easily. Just don't get hit by that melee of theirs if they have crits also. For that you have to get crit resistance because there's no melee resistance and there's no fall damage resistance which is hilarious in my opinion because I <laughs> Quite often died of fall damage alone. Um, maybe just because of my failure overall, but whatever. It doesn't even make sense because we're not talking about fall damage here and that really doesn't belong here. Alright, this gameplay is, 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 is pretty long already, so I basically stop here. If there are any more questions, feel free to write a comment down below and I answer it as soon as possible and as good as possible and as understandable as possible. Overall, if you um, upgrade your knife, by the way, that really comes into my mind right now, just just now, I don't know why. If you upgrade your knife, go for the armor penetration, then at least one time health on kill, just to make sure that you don't die by accident, and then you go for attack speed. But I think that you won't even come to that. So, first of all, movement speed and jump, jump height, so you are maneuverable enough to actually deal with everything. Then the resistances, so you don't die, and third... Uh, yeah, okay. It is difficult. In between at least one to two uh, zapper range like just just try to measure it out just at least one measuring uh, at least one zapper range 
and then the resistance is full, and then your knife, and your knife, then armor penetration, then one time, just one, you don't need more, just one time health on kill, and then attacking speed. Okay, that should be it for now. If I have anything else to add, I make another video. That should be it for the money spy. Sp money spy? Spy money. Money spy. I thank you all guys for watching. I hope I could help you. And we see us in the next gameplay tutorial for Man vs. Machines. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And we see us next time. Give it up, as always.